In the annals of true crime history, few criminals have been as enigmatic and chilling as Israel Keyes, the chameleon killer. Between 2001 and 2012, Keyes embarked on a cross-country killing spree, leaving a trail of victims scattered across multiple states. His methodical planning, lack of a discernible pattern, and complete detachment from his actions made him one of the most terrifying predators in modern times. In this 1,000-word post, we will delve into the dark world of Israel Keyes, exploring his grisly crimes, his twisted psyche, and the shocking revelation of a killer who seemed to exist without a trace. Born on January 7, 1978, in Richmond, Utah, Israel Keyes had a seemingly unremarkable upbringing. Raised in a religious family, he presented an ordinary facade to the world, but beneath the surface lay a deep and disturbing darkness that few could comprehend. The details of his early life remain relatively obscure, hinting at a troubled individual who mastered the art of concealment from an early age. In 2001, Keyes began his series of heinous crimes. His first known victim was a young woman named Samantha Koenig in Anchorage, Alaska, in February 2012. Koenig was abducted from the coffee stand where she worked, leading to a heart-wrenching search for the missing woman. Keyes proved himself to be a meticulous planner, methodical in his approach to killing and leaving no discernible pattern to follow. He traveled long distances, selecting victims in different states to avoid raising suspicions. His chilling ability to blend in and adapt his appearance earned him the moniker, Chameleon Killer. Each abduction and murder bore the marks of a cold, calculated predator. Keyes bound, tortured, and killed his victims, leaving no witnesses and no definitive link between the murders. He demonstrated an unparalleled ability to compartmentalize his emotions, showing no remorse or empathy for his actions. Unlike many serial killers, Keyes remained extraordinarily disciplined when it came to keeping his dark secrets. Even during his arrest and subsequent interrogations, he divulged only fragments of the truth, leaving law enforcement with a disturbing lack of closure for many of his crimes. In December 2012, after being apprehended for the kidnapping and murder of Samantha Koenig, Keyes surprised investigators by willingly confessing to a string of murders across the country. He claimed to have killed at least 11 victims, although the exact number remains unknown to this day. Key's revelations opened up a haunting window into the mind of a ruthless and remorseless killer. Despite his cooperation with authorities, Keyes was adept at obscuring the locations of his victims' remains. He hid kill kits in various states, which contained weapons, tools, and other items necessary for his crimes. These kill kits allowed him to strike quickly and efficiently, leaving little evidence behind. In a shocking turn of events, Keyes took his own life on December 2, 2012, while in custody, depriving investigators of vital information that could have led to the recovery of his victims' bodies. His suicide marked the end of a hunt for a killer who seemed almost supernatural in his ability to evade capture and manipulate the truth. The true extent of Keyes' crimes and the number of victims he claimed to have killed may never be fully known. His cryptic and elusive nature has left a chilling void in the lives of the families of the victims, haunted by the uncertainty of their loved ones' fates. The case of Israel Keyes remains one of the most haunting and perplexing in true crime history. His calculated and emotionless approach to murder, combined with his skill at hiding his actions, has left an indelible mark on the psyche of those who encountered his story. Israel Keyes, the chameleon killer, is a true crime enigma whose evil deeds have left a legacy of fear and uncertainty. His ability to blend into society, combined with his chilling methodical approach to killing, earned him the title of one of the most dangerous serial killers of his time. The mystery surrounding the full extent of his crimes, and the knowledge that some of his victims may never be found, continues to haunt investigators and true crime enthusiasts alike. The story of Israel Keyes stands as a grim reminder that evil can exist within the most unassuming individuals, leaving us to grapple with the terrifying notion that monsters may walk among us undetected.